All right guys, it's time to get a serious bicep pump. We're gonna take you through our Thunderbro finisher number 104 from our Hypertrophy Finishers Bible. This is gonna be a bicep tricep finisher, which means we're taking three movements, we're mashing them together for some bicep annihilation. So I'm gonna walk you through each movement, tell you what you should be thinking about, how you should do it, and a little bit about um, movement execution and even substitutions so you can get your pump on. Okay, so the first movement we're doing with this bicep tricep is a double arm hammer curl. What that means is that as you curl the weight up, your thumb is gonna be facing up, very similar to the same way you kind of strike a hammer. So here's what this movement looks like from the side. When you do these, what I want you to think about is coming up nice and smooth with a one second pause in full contraction and then a three second countdown. Up, one. Two, three. So you're gonna hit those for 10 reps. As soon as you're done with that, you're gonna then go over to the dumbbell and perform what we call a waiter curl. This is a waiter curl. This is a really cool movement where instead of holding the dumbbell from the handle, you're gonna hold it from the head of the dumbbell and just kind of clasp your hands, just like a waiter holding a tray. And you're gonna perform 10 of these waiter curls where you're gonna come down. Now, because your hands are facing up, you're not gonna be able to extend your arms all the way. That's totally fine. But you're gonna come up, one second hold, and right back down. So we're working the top half of the contraction of the bicep here for 10. And then our last movement, you're going to do a kettlebell towel, towel curl or a cable curl. So if you're doing a cable curl, you're gonna be on the low cable with the tricep rope, and you're gonna finish out with 10 of these. If you have access to a machine like this, that's awesome. So you can definitely uh, get a lot out of this if you have a cable machine, but if you don't, you can easily recreate this movement with a towel, a kettlebell, or even what I'm gonna to use today is a band, and all I'm gonna do is put the band through the kettlebell and then I'm gonna grab the ends the same way I grab the tricep rope. And what's cool about this is that with the band, the weight almost shakes or oscillates a little bit. So it adds a little bit of extra just because you gotta control it as it's moving. So, tricep finisher, 10 double arm curls, uh, uh, 10, uh, what was the second movement? Um, <laughs> 10 double arm hammer curls, 10 waiter curls, and 10 uh, towel curls or low cable with the tricep rope. All has one giant set. You're gonna rest 90 seconds, perform it for three total rounds, and get your pump on.